guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a fall drugstore makeup tutorial. Yes! I'm loving this look that I came up with today. I have like this kind of like foliage grunge look going on. All of the products that I used for this video are drugstore or affordable. Um, and then there was one little product that I forgot totally that is high-end. Um, I mixed in the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation, but you can go to the Clinique counter in a department store and ask for a sample. Mine is just a sample, so sorry about that. Um, but I did use the L'Oreal Infallible Foundation as well, so you can just use that foundation. Um, but yes, everything is drugstore or affordable. All the brushes are also affordable as well. I'm going to have everything linked below in the description box. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up for me. I really, really appreciate it, especially if you want to see more fall makeup tutorials. Please let me know with a thumbs up and feel free to leave a comment down below as well. And thank you guys so much again for coming back to my channel for another video. Of course, don't forget to subscribe if you are not subscribed yet. I'm going to have more fall tutorials to come. I'm going to do some Halloween tutorials. It's going to be a really fun season, you guys. And this is just the beginning. So don't forget to subscribe and click that bell so you can be notified every time that I upload a video. And with that being said, if you want to see how I created this gorgeous, fall look then just keep watching just ignore this crazy uh huge flower on this headband i just want to get my hairs out of my face yeah so anyways um we are going to start off with primer of the i have a clean washed face please excuse my issues i'm going through some things right now <laughs> um and i'm just going to use the baby skin maybelline instant pore eraser obviously because this is the only primer I have I know a girl still needs to get a primer I'm slacking so for foundation today I want to mix two of them I've been mixing all of my foundations because I'm just crazy but I'm gonna use the L'Oreal infallible uh, pro matte and I have mine in the shade 108 caramel beige I'm also going to take the Clinique Beyond Perfecting foundation and just put a little bit in there because I want a more full coverage look. I have mine in the shade 7 and I, I'm going to have all of the products listed below in the description box like I normally do. And I'm going to take my L'Oreal Beauty Sponge and blend that out. I have been loving this sponge. I love it so much. It's like the squishiest, the fluffiest, the bounciest. Um, if you haven't tried it, I would definitely try it. I like it more than the Real Techniques Miracle Sponge. A little sad, I have so much texture right now. Like, I haven't had this much texture in a long time. And I have a pimple right here. Like, what is that about? What is that, guys? What is that? I am going to use uh, the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer. This is actually my second tube. I'm just opening it for the first time today. Um, that first one lasted a really long time. I just love this concealer so much. It's like pretty full coverage and I love the color of it. It matches me perfectly. I have the shade Light Medium Beige and this is perfect for my skin tone because it has that like yellowy undertone. And um, it dries pretty matte, which I personally like. And now that I look like a yellow panda, we're going to blend it out again with the same sponge. I just use the pointed part. And I always... Uh, go ahead and take the concealer that was underneath my eyes and I also put it on my lids. I know I don't always say that, but I'm sure you guys have seen it. And um, that's what I do instead of using a, a lid primer. So to set the concealer, I'm going to use the Rimmel Stay Matte Long Lasting Press Powder. I have mine in the shade 001 Transparent. And what I've been doing lately is taking my sponge and applying it that way because I just noticed that it really helps me out with creasing. Just 
much. And then I'll just take this uh, Kabuki brush. So many brands have this, you guys. Elf has one for like $6, I believe. Um, and then I'm just going to gently set the rest of my face. I'm going into the Rimmel Natural Bronzer. This is a waterproof natural bronzing powder. I have mine in Sun Bronze. And I'm taking this large stipple brush by e.l.f. And I'm just going to um, bronze up my face. I love this bronzer because it's super affordable and it's really pretty but the thing about it is it's not too pigmented where you can just kind of like put this all around the face and it really does look super natural it still gives you color but if you are heavy-handed or new to makeup um, it would be hard to mess up your face <laughs> like it would be hard to look crazy because if you get a really pigmented bronzer and you are new to makeup or something or you're heavy-handed I mean you can look crazy but this stuff you can just put it everywhere and it looks really nice I'm going to take my wet n wild mega glow contouring palette I have mine in the shade caramel toffee and I'm taking the contour shade with this wet n wild contour brush and I'm going to just kind of like cut the cheekbones a little bit, put some up in the corner here just because uh, the rest of my body is pretty tan so I want to make sure that I match. This pimple, so big and ugly. Taking that same contour color, I'm going to I'm going to use this uh, Elf Flawless Concealer Brush, and I like to take a little bit on the edge, put some under my lip, makes them look a little more plump and juicy, gives it more definition and a shadow underneath. And then I'm going to also put some under my nose, and then just kind of like contour the sides a little bit. And today I'm actually going to do a little bit of blush. I uh, normally don't like doing blush. If you guys have been with me, I just like barely wear blush. But I really like this Wet n Wild Color Icon blush in Mellow Wine. I'm just going to put a tiny bit on the apples and just sweep it back. Just because in the fall time it's a little cold and you know your cheeks get a little rosy. So it looks really cute, you know. Now, before doing my brows, I really like to put my highlight on because I like to highlight this whole part right here and it would mess up my brows if I did that first. And I don't think I've used this in a tutorial yet, but I'm sure you guys saw this on my vlog. I hauled it and this is the Milani Strobe Light Instant Glow Powder in Sun Glow. So this is like a beautiful gold highlight. I'm so happy to have a new highlight in my collection because I've just been using the same thing all the time that wet and wild precious petals and this one is super gorgeous yes give me all the light sun glow I really want to get another one from them I think it's like afterglow or something like that they have also the packaging is like <gasps> gorgina like And I am still using the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer, and I have mine in the shade Brunette. And I'm just going to speed through the brows, you guys, because um, it's pretty boring. It's pretty self-explanatory. Um, but I do have a brow routine linked below in my description if you want to check it out. Okay, we're back with brows on. I cleaned them up with a teensy bit of concealer. Just they look nice and neat. And I came back on camera to finish up the brows with this Essence Lash and Brow Gel Mascara. This is new to me, I just bought this. I haven't tried it yet, so I figured I'd try it on camera. 
This was $2.99. Essence is so affordable, and I've been meaning to get a bunch more of their products to try out for you guys. Um, but so far, I got this, and I do like their lip liners. But I needed a new brow gel, and I said, you know, I should try a new one. I really like this brush. It's like super, super fine bristles. I feel like it's combing through my brows perfectly. Like this is the perfect size for my brows. Okay, so we're gonna be moving on to the eyes now. I'm going to be using this BH Cosmetics Blushed Neutrals 26 color eyeshadow and blush palette. This is super affordable. I know this is not at the drugstore, but when you um, buy it online, they always have coupons. Look at Retail Me Not. They usually have coupons and they always have sales. And I think I got this palette on sale for like $7, but normally I think it's only $12, which is like so super affordable and they are really pigmented. The only thing I would say is that they're more pigmented when you use your fingers versus brushes. The color doesn't really like to come off on the brushes is what I've noticed. Um, but yeah, you get all these blushes and all these eyeshadows and aren't these perfect for fall? Yes. So I really want to play with this color right here. Um, I'm really not sure what I'm gonna do. I'm just kind of winging it, but there's not a good transition color in that palette. So what I'm gonna do is take my take my contour color that I used on my face, and I'm using this Wet n Wild crease brush, and I'm just gonna put that in the crease. All right, so now we have that transition color laid down. I'm going to take this Elf. Um, contour brush. It's an eye contouring brush. It's just a dense little dome brush. And I'm going to first go in to this color right here, this berry shade that I want to use. And I think I'm going to put that in the outer corner. Ah, oh, yes, this is working. So maybe really dense brushes. Oh, look at that pigmentation. So a really nice dense brush would work with this. But the shimmer colors, I definitely suggest using your finger. They come off so beautifully. So I'm just going to bring this. I'm going to kind of like fake my crease a little bit because I do have hooded eyes. Oh my gosh, this color is so gorgeous. I'm gonna take the same blending brush that I used with the bronzer. I didn't clean it. I never clean my brushes in between. I simply just use them um, because this has the bronzer on it that's in my crease. So me personally, I find that it's easier to blend out my other darker shades with the color that's already my transition. So I always leave it on there. And I'm just lightly blending these edges so that there's no harsh lines. Wow, this color is actually blending out really nicely. I haven't had a chance to use the dark ones yet. I've only used a couple shimmer colors. And I'm just gonna go in again with a little more of that berry shade. And really concentrate this on the bottom here, the outer corner. And then taking that same brush again and blending the edges away. So to blend out this crease even more um, and kind of like get that transition in this berry shade to Mary, I'm going to take actually this middle blush and um, I'm going to use the blush as an eyeshadow.
Yes, I'm loving the colors that are happening right now. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing to the other eye and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I have both eyes at the same place now. Um, what I like to do, this is a little weird, but what I like to do is just take my finger and kind of straighten the edges a little bit. Very gently. Because I don't like to use tape on my eyes or whatever, but you pretty much get the idea. Um, so now I'm going to put a shimmer on the lid. So I'm going to take this uh, shimmery orange shade right here in the middle. This shade is gorgeous. I've used it before and we are going to put that pop of color in the middle. Uh, what I like to do with the shimmer shades because they just show up way better is I like to take it on my little ring finger here and then I will just um, put it right on the lid. This color is just so gorgeous. And I'm going to exaggerate my lid a little bit. Alright, so now that we have that on the lid, I'm going to take this same blending brush and just uh, softly marry these colors all together. Very gently with super light pressure. For the inner corner and the brow bone highlight, I don't want anything too frosty or too gold. Um, so what I'm going to do is use this Wet n Wild Trio and I'm using this brow bone color right up here. like a uh, champagne color so it's not too white and it's not too yellow or too gold. So I'm using this Eco Tools lip brush and I'm just going to pop this in the corner. taking a very light amount I'm also going to highlight my brow bone um, if you have a clean blending brush you can do that too but I just like to take my finger and gently run it across here and it just blends all together I'm gonna take this Wet n Wild Coal Eyeliner. This is in the shade Sima Brown now. It's 99 cents, girl. I love this eyeliner, I use it all the time. Oh, I don't wanna to touch my lid, so this is gonna be difficult. I'm just gonna line my upper waterline and my tight line. So I don't want to take away from what's going on on the lid, so I'm not going to do a liquid liner, but I'm going to take the same brown eyeliner and just kind of um, trace my lash line just to make it look a little fuller and defined here. Just very little. I'm going to coat my lashes with the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. I have mine in the blackest black waterproof. And of course, you know I had to do lashes with this look. So I'm going to be using the Ardell Soft Touch Lashes in the shade 162. These are my favorite lashes ever. Um, they have a flared out look. So if you don't want to wear eyeliner, but you want to have the same effect as wing liner, um, this does it for you. And they look pretty natural every time I wear them. Um, and I say, oh, my lash this, my lash that. They're like, what? Those are fake. And I'm like, yeah, you think I have beautiful lashes like this? Because I don't. And I'm also using the Kiss uh, Clear Lash Adhesive with the brush tip. So I was putting a little bit of liquid liner on my lash band just because you could see the glue and like previous eyeshadow and everything and the liquid liner got on my lashes and then got on my cheek. So yeah, don't mind that. I have to wait until it dries and then I'm going to take it off. So to finish up the bottom lash line, I'm going to use um, 
this color, this blush color that I used in my crease. Because uh, I don't want to use that plum color really. Because then I feel like I'll look like I have a black eye. So I'm just going to take this color on the side of this blending brush. And make a really awkward face. And whatever's left on that dome brush like that I used that plum color with, just because I know there's only a tiny bit left, I'll run a tiny bit on the outer corner just to deepen it up. I'm going to coat my bottom lashes. And before finishing off the lips, I'm going to set my face with the e.l.f. Matte Magic Mist and Set. For the lips, I'm just going to be doing something warm and simple. So I'm going to use this Wet n Wild Color Icon Lip Liner. This is in the shade Willow. It's just like a very warm nude. And to fill in the rest of the lips, I'm going to go in with the NYX Liquid Suede, and this is in the shade Sandstorm. And I'm just going to dab that in with my finger, because this lipstick can get a little dark if you use a lot, and I don't want to be too heavy on the lips because of my eyes. 